Well, I got to tell you, I just couldn't be any more impressed right now with Microsoft. You see, normally when I get a really stupid idea, like low level format and wipe my favorite laptop, it's an HP Omen gaming laptop. Uh, yeah, when I get the idea to scorched earth that and put on a beta operating system like Windows 11, normally it's going to be a really bad day or night or both. But in this case, I'm very happy to report that Windows 11, wow, impressive. Now, here's the thing, before you think I'm too crazy, uh, this laptop that has been my favorite laptop, it was ready for a refresh. Yeah, I would have done a refresh of Windows 10 at this point. I've been using the machine for about a year and there was all kinds of crap on it that I did not want on it. So keep that in mind. Now, if we go uh, to the About Your PC, uh, I can show you that one of the reasons this went so smoothly was the fact that I have a robust machine. Uh, notice an i7 chip there, 64 gigs of RAM I have installed in this laptop. So that's not going to be an issue. Uh, and there is a great NVIDIA uh, GeForce RTX. I believe it's like a 2060, 2070, 2080, something like that card. So this is a, you know, very new, very, very high powered platform. And when I ran the health check, uh, we know that Microsoft has the, uh, the PC health check. Let's just check that out. PC health check. Make sure you're aware of this. This is a little app that you can download and run to see if your Windows 11 ready. And of course, I passed that test with flying colors. So I was ready to refresh my favorite laptop you see before you. And so that's why I was like, OK, you know what? I'm going to have to go to Windows 11 anyways. Let me go ahead and do this. So I went into settings on the Windows 10 PC and I went to the Insider Program settings. I joined the Windows Insider Program, and when I joined the Windows Insider Program, and it's funny, I haven't even rejoined it yet on this Windows 11 fresh install, but when I joined the Windows Insider Program, what I then did, because I wanted to do a clean install, was I went up and I searched for Windows 11 Insider Downloads. And you go to a Windows uh, Insider Download area. Here we go. Download the official Windows 11 ISO. Oh, okay, this is an article on how to do it. And of course, he gives you a link to the official page you need to go to from Microsoft. So I went in here and I downloaded the ISO so that I could do a complete clean install. So I want to go on record saying that this install was incredibly awesome and my laptop is more awesome than ever uh, so far with Windows 11. What do I mean by more awesome than ever? Well, I'll tell you one thing, boot and shutdown times are the fastest I have ever seen for any operating system. Unix, Linux, Mac, Windows, doesn't matter. I've never seen a laptop sh uh, boot and shut down as quickly as this one does now. And I dig the new user interface. I feel like I'm on uh, a cartoon version of a Mac. <laughs> it does. It feels like, I don't know, just like a cartoonish Mac OS now. It's it's really interesting. It feels much more Linux-like, actually, than it does Windows-like, which I'm thinking was kind of part of the design. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about in this video was the installation. So 
what I did was, as you know, I downloaded the ISO and then I just parked that in my downloads folder and I went in and I double clicked it and, you know, ran the setup executable. And then during the options uh, of the Windows 11 install, I said, don't keep anything. I want a complete fresh install. What then happened, of course, was uh, after a couple of reboots, I then was brought into my initial configuration screens. These are much simplified. There's not a bunch of weird questions for end users about Cortana and browser settings and all that kind of stuff. A much simplified initial set of setup questions. Then, of course, we go back into a, all right, we're getting stuff ready for you. And then all of a sudden, after one of the reboots, there I was in Windows 11 and it had already gone into my office settings and pulled up some documents that I had been recently working on. Now, incredible, right? So it's a brand new, fresh install, but thanks to my participation in Office 365 and also OneDrive, it was already aware of, you know, files that I had been recently working on and things. Now time for the buzzkill, and I really did expect this to happen, so I wasn't surprised. I immediately went into this fresh install and I checked disk space and I saw that, oh my gosh, it was not good, right? All I installed was Windows 11, scorched earth. I wanted to see about 20 gigs in use, but of course, you know what's happening here. The machine has previous versions of Windows 11 on it. I'm mean, excuse me, Windows 10, and it's massive and all kinds of files. So it was time to use the Windows 11 storage utility to clean it up. And I'll show you how I did that. Now, in fairness to Windows 10, what I'm about to show you was invented for Windows 10. So I'm going to come in here and just type storage and notice we're going to go into the storage settings app. And this is what you can use to go ahead and clean up the gigs and gigs and gigs of crap that you're going to have, particularly, as I said, under the temporary files area, you're going to see that you have tons of previous versions of Windows and things of that nature. Notice, I'm going to go ahead and run this right now. Might as well keep things tidy. And there's 2.07 gigs worth of delivery optimization files now that can be cleaned up. So good riddance to all this temp stuff, including some downloads that I had in the downloads folder, as it just warned me about. But that's great. And we can keep things nice and tidy with this new storage vehicle. And like I said, in fairness to Windows 10, this was available in late versions of Windows 10, but it's nice to see it uh, flourishing here in Windows 11. So I'll do more Windows 11 videos for you, but I just wanted to tell you, wow, a fresh install on some really new, great hardware. This was a joy a true joy. And you can see I'm now, of course, going through the labor of adding my key Adobe applications. And, you know, everything is just progressing very, very smoothly. I'm happy to report.